Charlie Clack, and I'm working for the University of South Africa as a senior lecturer in the School of Criminal Justice. I've been teaching for the past 32 years, but in my earlier career, I didn't really explore research. It really started right about 21 years ago when I was really intrigued about the whole thing of uh, environmental crime. Not at that stage, and from a South African point of view, realizing that there is a field of rural criminology. So we did a lot of research on um, environmental crimes, especially the uh, illegal trade in, 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 in animals and animal products uh, internationally. So that is where my whole interest started in rural criminology is, is from environmental criminology. And uh, when you realize that this is such a big research field, you, you start thinking, you know, here's something that I can do. And that's how I got into it. The main thing is in South Africa, if, if I tell you the shows that I, that I watch, as no one will know what we're talking about. But if we get to a little bit of international stuff, I do love to watch the series on uh, New Amsterdam uh, of an hospital in, uh, in New York. And the main, what I love the most about the program is the life lessons you learn from it and not the program itself. So that's a TV show that I like to explore and I like to watch. Then when it gets to books, I'm a very fond reader of Jeffrey Archer and all his crime and criminal books and all those kind of things. And, and the series that he's currently writing on uh, the William Warwick, the, the detective, I'm following that meticulously. And the new book is out, so I need, I need to get a new book for Christmas. So, and will be good. So that's the books that I read. If we get to more academic stuff, uh, the last book I actually really read is the book uh, of Mark Nepo with the title, uh, More Together Than Alone the power of community. And, and I think we sometimes forget how much power there is around us. And we think you must do everything alone. But as the moment you start involving other people in your endeavors, you tend to go much further than on your own. So that was, I suppose, that kind of like the last academic life book that I read. My whole focus in South Africa, and that is because it's such a prevalent crime, is, is on livestock theft. Uh, and we are very fortunate in South Africa to get the statistics of livestock theft very often. Like every quarter, we do get all these statistics. And it's very good to look at it. What I'm currently working on is a project on, the, on farm relations, on the relations between farmers and police. Uh, the survey is out. We, we're doing the survey currently. We're waiting for the responses. Uh, that's one project. The other project is um, uh, one on farm ground where we developed a, a omnibus type of a survey where we are measuring things like the use of C CCTV, the most prevalent crimes, the cost of crime, the relationship with police, uh, and farmers, we are looking at the, in South Africa specifically at the aging of our farming community. So it's a real omnibus survey. And uh, what we've learned from it at the present moment, we've we received about uh, 230 responses already. But what we learned is as long as, as soon as the surveys gets too long, people tend to give up. And this survey takes about 30 minutes to complete. So uh, uh, that's kind of like a challenge, but uh, well, we will overcome it. But that's the two projects that I'm currently exploring. One thing that's always been intriguing me, uh, I'm fortunate to have two hats and a lot of other hats as well. I farm. I'm a farmer, I'm an academic. So it gives me two perspectives. I'm highly involved in criminal justice from the other side. So I see things in different perspectives than 
I would say than normal. And there's one thing that's really intriguing me is the relationships between farmers and the criminal justice system all over the world. Because I've noticed that it's not just a problem in my country, the farmer justice relations is really a phenomenon, a world phenomenon. And from an academic perspective, I think we're touching the wrong nerve here. I think we're looking at the police as a problem. And I think we should, should start looking at the farmers and their personalities as well and what they are doing. Uh, I do think we should start researching that because from my perspective and where I farm, as farmers are normally in a position where they can command and they can give instructions. And the moment they get in touch with the criminal justice system, they tend to have the same approach. They want to command and they want to tell. Uh, and I think that has got an influence on the relationships with the criminal justice system. And that is the key issue that I think it's really in need of research. And I don't know of a theory currently that is able to address that phenomenon.